Hello guys, I'm back again. I uh, had a two week pause uh, because of, yes, par releases and the lack of time for them. But here I'm back with two videos. So the first video is about the God of War Awakening, uh, Troll Star Awakening. I'm going to quickly run through its awakening skills, star awakening skills, and yeah, briefly just give my opinion on it. And uh, so, yeah, when Troll enters the battlefield, increases DR and damage for our Krevlod, which is a stronghold, and lost land units alternate uh, stronghold. This includes champions. So, pure faction buff. <clears throat> Uh, some uh, self buff within the range and decreases the attackers DR second star is uh, faction buff against fear uh, so third one <clears throat> self buff from uh, lost land and Kravlod units and uh, yeah, a bit of deep of foreground units. <clears throat> Four is uh, crucial. Uh, yeah, well, sort of, uh, as it's a really high max HP cap, 20%. So anyways, five big hits and you're dead. <clears throat> but here, yeah, so uh, friendly charging units, uh, which is also considering the Alliance is more of a stronghold buff because uh, the Cove faction, apart from Shark, uh, Charger, like no one even uses Shark Charger, uh, doesn't really have a Charger unit. So yeah, it's more about the Stronghold charging units. And yeah, they, they, they mark the enemies and Troll attacks those marked enemies and decreases the DR. <coughs> And the fifth Star Awakening skill increases damage and uh, tenacity for friendly units, but doubled for Lost Land and Karelid again. So real faction buffs more than anything else. And uh, yeah, increases. Well, this, this is the interesting part. Uh, when Troll is on the battlefield, the Stronghold units will receive buffs every six seconds it doesn't say for how long those buffs last and it doesn't say they stack or not or yeah what's up with that like in 100 at 160 seconds when the battle ends uh, does that mean it uh, yeah added the buff from 30 stacks so yeah, well, I don't know, there's no way to test it as well. <clears throat> and yeah, this is also really big when Troll is uh, in Rampage. He's being able to, he's able to being healed. Yeah, very nice. And 40% DR. <coughs> Sorry. And yeah, at the start of the battle, the Troll is immune to all damage for 12 seconds so hey yay at least for 12 seconds he's um, killable and yeah he loses 20 percent of max hp well doesn't really matter and increases damage and dr of lost land again faction buff so really more about the stronghold and he probably won't be able to shine as good as in uh, as in as in uh, an alliance uh, team so <coughs> <coughs> damn I'm sorry really <coughs> so yeah here I've put together a team of uh, six stronghold units uh, and mermaid and yeah as we saw the troll rampaged instantly so going up against Adrienne and looks like no problem here yeah god of war doing most of the damage only our pulse fury died <clears throat> so 
So yeah, the team I put together is uh, six stronghold mermaid and a tank from Cov. Yeah, well, better than to play anything off faction. Uh, so no problem with the fortress team. Uh, let's see how will it go if we are playing some better meta teams. <clears throat> the standard Josephine. Yeah, Josephine has been really like the fourth alliance team right now because Aura's buff's just so crazily good. Mermaid dies instantly. <coughs> God damn it, I'm, I'm really sorry if this is making any real noise. So, yeah, God of War. Panther is doing not so good <clears throat> so maybe priest is better <clears throat> really looks really cool shooting his damn boulders Oh, crazy sisters like uh, died in the troll domain almost. Yeah, man, these boulders look really cool. And yeah, the why doesn't troll break his initial uh, rampage because uh, Oris provides bubbles which uh, make the stronghold cop units go rampage. <coughs> Oh, and we didn't lose Priest here, so this definitely went better. <coughs> God damn it. Uh, I think I'm going to go uh, a bit stronger. Uh, I don't know if I want to be playing... <laughs> I think I won't play the Necro version um, because Yeah, because I want to show the uh, Grim Rider's weapon in the next video. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna skip this one here, and uh, yeah, let's play the, the Necro. In the next video, against Stronghold, so yeah. Horus got such a huge buff. As we are seeing, Fury and God of War top two, uh, like always. Uh, and uh, Fury is doing really well you know, under the awakened <clears throat> troll. Uh, let's send those charging units into the back line. It almost looked like something's gonna happen, but yeah, not really. <clears throat> oh, that's big damage. What the hell? Look at that healing. What the hell is that? Oh. 
Um, so yeah, we can go further. I, I mean, we can play. We can play a cov mirror, right? I guess why not? Mermaid is not cool, but let's keep her in. <clears throat> and after that, we are going to <coughs> be playing um, against Kyrie. So a few battles here. Instantly about to die. The immunities. God damn it! Who's the better Oris team now? Right? Look at the yeah, the Fury and God of War. What the hell is that healing again? when the chargers go into the back line. A bit closer to the Zerker and the Priest died, but none of the other units. Yeah, Fury and God of War really stomping in damage. And this is this is what I like really. Like I don't even play Stronghold. I have a three star uh, troll myself only, but this is really refreshing to see as. Uh, the meta shifts and previously stronghold two months ago yeah, bottom tier like absolute worst faction and now look at this destroying everything well let's see how it will go versus Kyrie but even the <coughs> even the uh, Alliance, bro. Co. Yeah. What the hell? Now, Pulse Fury did a crazy amount of healing. Yeah, there's definitely some some proc. Just goes overboard. <coughs> All right, so yeah, Co is no match for Stronghold. Really? Am I, am I saying this? Ah. Uh, so let's see first without without the maxed out no I want to keep him. So yeah, first let's see without the maxed ID <clears throat> and after that I'm going to be Switching out priest for ID. <clears throat> so, what about it? The dancer went at the uh, troll twice. No, the dancer is alive. That's a huge problem, no, but these stronghold units want it. <clears throat> Look, the Zerker lived the whole battle. Troll died, yeah, because the goddamn the dancer almost dealt two. Yeah, as much as two units. Yeah, and she was running <laughs> two, th three times. Yeah, she got ported back two times and was running. 
most of the battle and still out damaged everyone else. <coughs> Such a good unit with the Mudo and obviously Kyrie. IP got nearly popped by the realm of selflessness from uh, Dancer. This is not looking good. Nope. 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 <clears throat> okay. <laughs> that healing again. So. <clears throat> can switch something up like this <clears throat> I'm really interested if this team can win or cannot <clears throat> looks good for the stronghold yep And I'll just do one more. Zerker, top damage. <laughs> Shaman, second in damage. Yeah, well. Who said those units suck? Look like top tier units to me. <clears throat> Alright, this is the last battle. Now we are 2 1 in favor of Stronghold. <clears throat> Morris wins versus Kyrie, and let's see how the fourth battle goes. <coughs> Looks like Stronghold is winning. Oh no! Dancer is alive. Is, is she? She went at the troll. Did troll die? No, troll didn't die and took out. Well, what the hell? the Zerker. So much damage. But yeah, the troll uh, killed the dancer at the back. So 3 to 1 in favor of the Stronghold team. So let's upgrade to this. Uh, the domains are on. Yep. <coughs> So I'm calling all wins on Kyrie. No, Stronghold team looks good. Dancer got ported back. Dancer is killing stuff only. Nah, whoa. Only Emerald Dragon died, I believe. Zerker top DPS. Um, yeah, what died? Yeah, Emerald Dragon. Yep, that's about it. Only Emerald Dragon died. <clears throat> Gonna switch some positions up. So yeah, looking at these two teams, <clears throat> uh, the Kyrie also has an awakening and uh, Ice Demon. It didn't look that well. Yeah, did it kill? Yeah, we killed the Emerald Dragon. That's about it. <clears throat> Obviously, you can change the uh, Zerker to. The Eagle Guardian was its name. Yeah, and put a Kraken or, or Crab into the offensive spot. But I know it won't be better, probably, maybe, I don't know. Because Turtle is uh, a really decent tank. <clears throat> and let's just play another battle. Maybe Dancer will just run instead of doing damage and the stronghold charger units will 
or DPS the running blade dancer. <coughs> so far so good for stronghold. Very nice. Yeah. So yeah, this is how it should be. Chargers doing damage. Trolled out a lot of damage as well. So yeah, here's the thing that uh, yeah, Dancer was mostly running. <coughs> and actually, <laughs> as funny as it may be, that open lane carry with Dancer is at a disadvantage rather than going f uh, heads up into the battle. Yeah, well, let's pay attention to the Dancer now. Look at her, she's running, got ported back, running, and probably, no, she didn't die. <laughs> she killed the troll. Great. Yeah, just as a, oh yeah, well, but she dealt less damage than uh, Fury, the God of War, and uh, similar to Zerker. Um, yeah, we can play one more, as this looks fun. <coughs> Dancer running, ported back, running, almost dying. And did she die? No, she didn't die, of course, because of Kyrie. No, oh, but there's two chargers alive on the Ors team, and it is a tie. And HP favor of Ors. Look at the Fury's damage, man. Real nice. Yeah, Chal got picked off by the Dancer. And I was like P with the crazy healing. Yeah, something weird is going on. <clears throat> yeah, but this is about it. So, definitely a uh, top two team, maybe, because I didn't show the uh, Septian and Necro team with the Grim Rider weapon. Uh, but looks like a solid number two. Uh, mostly these battles went in favor of Kyrie, so not exactly at the level of Kyrie because um, yeah, tech is equal, hero, commander awakening, and uh, the only problem is that uh, yeah, it's a shaman weapon versus a blade dancer weapon, yeah, and that's totally in favor of the blade dancer. Uh, so yeah, in the next video I'm going to be showing the uh, Necro Septiena against uh, this, our Stronghold team. And yeah, check that one out as well. Uh, so yeah, it looks pretty nice. Alright, thank you guys for watching and uh, check out the next one as well. Bye!